think, uh, really set it apart from the crowd, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So anyways, uh, we got the match starting up. It is Saucer and Ludovic in winner's finals here. Thank you for keeping me on track. Damn, I was about to go on like a like a 15-minute podcast about how cool Tekken 4 was. <laughs> I mean, honestly, in any other day, I wouldn't stop you, but yeah. sadly, that's not what we're here for. We're here to watch this waifu battle here. Saucer playing his Anna and Ludovic playing his very own Asuka. Hey, man, don't rub salt into the wound. Anna ain't nobody's waifu because Nina killed him. <laughs> she exploded him. Don't, don't you remember? I remember. I remember it very clearly. And Anna's out for revenge, but she's going to blow through his Oscar first, right? Ooh, indeed. Ooh, you know what? I love watching Saucer playing this character. What a slugfest. Yeah. He was also at uh, NEC. I uh, caught him on stream when I was uh, watching, too, as well. He did really, he did pretty good. Yeah, top eight, right? Um, I believe he fell uh, shy of it. Just, Just not a top eight. Okay. Yeah. I think I saw him on stream as well, but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Lud one Street Fighter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Congratulations to Lud on winning Street Fighter, in case you all didn't know. But How did he do in Tekken? In Tekken? Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but I don't think it was that good. I want to say he made out of pulls, but I'm unsure. Ooh, big rush down from Saucer and Lud. Mm -hmm. Trying to keep things tricky. Wow. That yeah. parry really lost to the uh, Core Circle 1. Yeah. I believe it's an uh, elbow. Ah. Yeah. That's that probably why. Sense. Same thing with uh, Nina. It's an uh, elbow. Is it really? Uh huh. But she's got her hand open and everything. Nails yeah. Out. I guess it, I guess it's kind of like uh, closed fist and open palm and like kind of push it, you know, fist and stuff. Really? I believe so. It's pretty fast, so huh. it's hard to tell. This game's a little funky about what it treats as its parry breakers sometimes. <gasps> well, Look at the real launch. Ooh. Oh, almost dead. Almost. Two wine openers in a row. Getting a nice little mini combo there. Yep. Goes for the rage drive. Go for the <gasps> he went low and he block. blocked it. I believe he went low twice and uh, Lud blocked both of them, so I'm going to see what uh, he's going to do later. Yeah, we'll see. We know how Tekken is, right? Mm -hmm. It's all about setting these strange uh, examples and then, you know, your opponent downloads them, sees your habits, works them against you. Yep. So we'll see if Saucer tries to go for more lows later. Ooh, got the wall splat. Got some really good damage there. I think that could have been a really good example of what we were just talking about. Lud ate that mid and went straight into a wall. He was reading a low. Saucer mixing it up, doing a lot more mids that round. Mm -hmm. Tying it up, Tekken 7 style. Yep. I'm surprised that uh, Lud has been uh, going for open parries, especially in the first two rounds. Yeah. And, but I do like Saucer's reaction. He's immediately elbowed. I was like, wow, that's that's pretty good. I think that really speaks to how deeply mental high-level Tekken is, right? Mm -hmm. Are there blowouts in high-level Tekken? Sometimes. Almost never, though. True. Almost never. I feel like these back and forth games are so much more common. Mm -hmm. Especially against like two high level players. That duck on the hop kick, good oh, lord. No. He, oh no. Well, thankfully, he finishes food, but if you get those two jabs in the air, you gotta convert that. Yeah. Especially with that little bit of health there, you gotta convert that every time. You, you immediately go to combo mode and you convert that and you end it. That's the struggle, and I think that's the Tekken struggle. I think that's one of the things that creates such a large learning curve for this game, right? Right? The skill barrier. The skill gap is huge in this game because there are so many situations you have to know to be prepared for, right? And react to. Yeah, and that's even if you just want to be in a decent level. Yeah, at a decent level. Such a dynamic game. It I mean, means so many situations, not just combo conversion situations, but, you know, weird things. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of funky stuff. Like that Especially duck right there. Thing. Yeah. And like just blogging um, different strings and different variations of those strings is it's ridiculous. Not to mention every character has their own different punishes. It's, it's crazy. Yeah, you know what? I can't wait for the preschool class that lives in this room to come back to just like blood and sweat, there and it hair is. and teeth. Oh! See, I, I like how he did. He went to the full crowd. Blood Round thought he was going to go low, hit him with the launcher. Fight. I like that. Beautiful. Indeed. Classic Tekken. <gasps> oh, he got counter hit. Oh, Take he got for three. Ride. Ugh. Yeah, he got the full combo, too. Oh, that's over 50%. Wow, the sidestep slap. Four soccer kicks in a row. Yeah, I guess he was willing to take it just to get that realignment. It's a tough position to be in when you get knocked down in the corner against these characters with soccer kicks. Mm -hmm. Not to mention, especially if you're not flat on your face or just, like, flat and linear, it, it definitely gets really weird. Right. All right, it looks like Saucer might go 2-0 here. Oh, nice punish. 
Yeah, definitely sitting on game point here. Oh no, it's winner's finals, so it's oh, gonna yeah, be a first right. of three. Best of three. My, my apologies, my apologies. Ooh. Best of five, first of three. Ooh. Oh! The ch open challenge with the hop kick. Yeah, that wasn't the auto hop kick either. No, it wasn't. The booty bump. Oh, finally got him with the low. Oh no, just barely missing that. The wall. Yeah. See, now I'm starting to see the more extensions of that um of that full crouch mix up now. Oh, Ooh, wait for another mix up for the close. Do you see how tricky these two are getting mm -hmm. on each other? These like sort of feints. Mm -hmm. we, we saw, I think, in the Tekken World Tour, the finals, mm -hmm. how, how uh, effective that could be. Wrong Chu with the panda, the fake jump sweep. Mm -hmm. Good lord. We yeah, just saw just that jumping. situation three times. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, yeah, definitely should, gets to show you because I, I, I kind of liken this to whenever you're playing against somebody competitively and you're just used to them doing all of these things. Now it's like, okay, I know what's going to happen. I know what you're going to do. Now the question is, can I stop it or did I guess right? Yeah. That, that kind of what it gets down to this. Like it, it's no longer you're struggling to get this character. It's just this, it's you and the player. Try showing me a good That's right. High level fighting games in a nutshell, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, the characters are just a part of it, but it's a game. It's a you know Round mental game, one. mind versus mind, hands indeed versus hands. Is, indeed, it is. I think one of the things I love so much about this game is that I think better than almost any other fighting game right now, it rewards right the holy trinity of technique. Right, your hands got to be a part of it, your brains got to be a part of it, and your eyes have to be a part of it. Yes, indeed. Reactions, technique, and skill. I actually like the way you put that. I remember that. Or technique. Technique, knowledge, and intuition. That's what it really is, right? Okay, okay. That actually is better put. I, I like I like those sorts of words. You gotta have some knowledge for this game, right? There's a lot yes. of knowledge to have. Indeed it is. A whole lot of situations you get put into as well. You gotta be technically proficient. You have to be. Oh, snap! That was actually a really, really bold move by Lud. But it did cost him this round, so he's, he's, he's good on that one. You know what? I'm going to keep on this topic because I'm in color commentary mode. That's right, Dad. Put away the old black and white. Ooh, color. Right? Is that I think the, the gap is so wide. There's so much room to be so good at any one of those three aspects, right? Mm -hmm. Knowledge, technique, and intuition. That you can be good enough at any one of those and almost completely lack the other two and still do well. That's what we see from the legacy players, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think about it. yeah. A lot, a lot of times, it's, especially when you uh, first start into a new entry in the series, now it's like okay, you understand. You you have kind of like come some of the instinct still there. However, you're just also trying to go into the new game, so you're kind of also not knowledgeable. Right. However, you can still go off of those instincts and still be good for a certain amount of time. Right. Ooh. Yeah. I okay. See God. I like how Lud is starting to pull out a little bit more of the setups, especially with the uh, relaunch with the uh, three ring circus. Right. And it's actually starting to pay off for him. He's got three rounds straight. I really think that's one of Asuka's biggest strengths. Mm -hmm. It's hard to deal with, you know? Yeah, yeah, some of her really weird strengths that hit high low really fast or low high. Like right. You never really see it coming. It's one of those things where you just either have really good reactions for the high low one or yeah. you just see it coming. Or you guess it coming, you just go ahead and do what you got to do. Parry or something. But, yeah, there, there doesn't seem to be a catch-all answer for that, right? Nope. Clearly not. You try to armor, you get clipped by that low. You try to jump, you get hit by the highs or the mids. Yep. You know, you try to sidestep. It all, the three-ring circus, I mean, that thing tracks really well. Her yes, arms are just does. out there flailing like wrecking balls. Yep. Is that her fight style, just wreck, like wrecking ball Come flail? Yeah, Let like like, flail like a mace or something, you know? <laughs> like a flail. Oh, man. We almost had a blowout, too, but Lud had to go ahead and turn this into a, you know, Tekken Winners Finals for us. All right, good. Good for Lud. <gasps> Ooh, so tricky. Oh, yeah. And you know what? I feel like if you're going to do something like that, Lud with the feint, you got to be ready. You got to be ready for the opponent to press a button, and Lud wasn't ready. Ooh. Yeah. There it was again. Nice challenge. Ooh. And he actually finished the string this time for the round. round two. Tekken. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it so much. Yeah. Oh, knowledge, technique, and intuition, man. Do not whiff on Lud. The man can punish. Yeah, he plays Street Fighter V, and the kind of reactions you need to have and spacing you need to have to exercise whiff punishing in that game, it, I think it really makes 3D games, you know, a, a lot easier. Yeah. Especially he got Asuka, one of the best um, 
players, uh, one of the best characters to use, at least knowing that. Right. She has very good defensive tools too, but you don't see Lud using it too often. I think he really respects Saucer here to know how to deal with things like the wheel kick and yeah. the parry. Very first round, we saw that parry and we saw Saucer had a quarter circle one. <gasps> Snap, what a sidestep. Not too much of a punish. <gasps> oh, Double KO. Nope. Saucer sitting Saucer, on game point yeah, again. Yeah, Saucer's still standing. And, now he's sitting, and like you say, he's sitting on game point after that little bit of a scramble there. <gasps> what a crush situation, but does he get the counter? <gasps> oh, Take it for a he ride. Gets it. All the way to the wall, baby. Here we go. Oh, he's getting all that damage. Oh, no booty bump. Oh, snap. Ah. Those are the mind games right there. Yeah, I'm surprised he actually uh, went for that. Uh, oh, the low? Bro. Full crouch for 10 seconds and to do the low? Yeah, but like the thing is, he, he did crouching four. I'm like, huh? Yeah, yeah. Not right. exactly an optimal combo enter. Oh, yeah, snap. no. And Lud wow. sneaks away a win here. Now it's tied up. Oh, well, not tied up. Two to one in the round count. Ooh, the can can. And that's another situation where I feel like if he was just a frame earlier, he would have got the counter hit. And there he yeah. gets it. And now the wall. And he actually gets the launch. Oh, he did it way too early and way too far. Yeah. Spacing oh. was not right there. And look, this is a big opportunity for Saucer. Yep. He goes for the damage this time. Actually, no, I think that's probably what happened. He probably went for the uh, the shoulder earlier. And didn't get it. he got the, uh, the kick instead. Bam. I think that's probably what happened. Well, he got the kick and...